Okay guys, so I've had this on my mind for a while, and it's something I want to make a video about. Let's say this new Dora the Explorer game came out, right? Let's say my three-year-old niece loves that game, but I think it's not fun. So just because to me it's not fun doesn't mean it's not her fun to her, just say it's not your style of game. And that's where I'm trying to get at here. Just because the game is not fun to you does not mean it is not fun to others. A uh, perfect example of this is uh, if anyone plays League of Legends Night Blue 3. There was a moment where Night Blue literally was like, okay, he doesn't like League anymore. This League the game isn't fun anymore. Uh, blah, uh, blah. And he was posting all the stuff on Twitter about how the game isn't fun and how, you know, he didn't want to play the game. And that's understandable if you just don't want to play the game. Don't say it's not fun when you've played it for years. Don't say it's not fun when, you know, there are millions of other people out here playing the same exact game and thinking the exact opposite. Because you have to realize that as a content creator or a streamer, you will have, you have a lot of influence on how other people think. If other people think, if you say, let's say Drake magically said Lil Wayne is trash. So many Drake lovers as of that moment will snap and be like, I hate Lil Wayne, but you literally loved them the previous day. Huh, got on my dick and stay on all night like porch lights. You, you were praising that shit. But the next day you hate him because your idol literally said, no, I technically, in the, in the League of Legends standpoint of things, I idolize this man, Night Blue. He is good. He is good. I don't see a problem with him. I love the way he plays. I love the way that he's carefree when he plays. He can jungle whoever he wants, and that's good. I love that shit. Shofu is a PokeTuber, plays Pokemon, too. Uh, I'm, he's, he, I don't think I've ever blatantly heard Shofu say that, you know, he didn't find Pokemon fun. Because I know he loves the game. But I had heard him say that some games are, they baby, they baby you, and some games are trying to hold your hand. Um, they, the game has changed. The Pokemon has changed. And that's fine, but he still agrees that the game is fun. He just notices the changes. That's fine. If you can play the game, notice it's fun, and agree with the change. I mean, maybe not agree with the changes, but still find fun in the game. That's fine, but just because the game isn't fun to you doesn't mean that it's not fun to someone else. So That 10-year-old kid that was struggling on the original Red and Blue is now running through Pokemon Let's Go, and, Let's Go uh, Eevee and Pikachu. We'll call friend one... Friend one and friend two, friend two. Friend one is the one who will complain immensely about the game. And no matter what you do, it's always some type of BS in the game. It's something that all he, he, he's not, like, and when something gets nerfed, he praises it. No matter what, it's always praise. Even if it wasn't even a significant nerf and it wasn't going to change shit, it's just praise. Then we have the other friend, friend two who says the game is 100% BS and doesn't want to play the game anymore, yet hops on the game almost every day to play. And his excuse is, he doesn't have anything else to play. And it's like, okay, you have plenty of games to play. You have plenty of games in your arsenal. You just don't want to play them. You just want to play League. It's fine. If you don't if you, if you you don't want to say the game is fun, don't say the game is fun. But don't call it bullshit because you're hopping on it every day. When you're playing a game competitively, most, if you ever look, most, well, not most, but a good bit of competitive players for some games, whether it be Smash Bros, League, Pokemon, whatever, stop playing the game because they don't find the love that they had in it in the past. And that's fine if you just don't find that game fun anymore. But don't walk up to someone else and be like, that game isn't fun. Don't play that shit. You'll get mad. No. Because that's, that that's, it's not for you to decide that for a game. For example, um, friend one, let's go back to friend one. We play Smash Bros a lot. We're going to play Smash Bros when it comes out. This man, it literally like, like he hates playing casually with items. I don't care how I play Smash Bros. I just like playing Smash Bros. I just want to play Smash Bros. And we'll complain about every single bit of item that happens. Yet we'll not actually think about, you know, other people who will enjoy items. The game is not meant to be competitive. This game, like, Smash Bros, even by Sakurai has said that he does not want the game to be competitive. And that is fine. That is fine. It does have a competitive scene. So... I understand if you want to play it competitively 24-7, but also realize that there are other modes in the game that make the game just as fun. But I just want to talk about that, guys. I got some more videos coming um, tomorrow or the next day, so be prepared for those. Till next time.